Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. As you have seen in the title and the thumbnail, it is time for our monthly build your own palette and this one is March. I'm very excited and this is the palette that I came up with. This is her here. So yes, March contains Paddy's Day. I am Irish. It's a big deal. I mean, I don't necessarily do a lot for it. But I do like to go for drinks for it, you know what I mean? We don't dress up as leprechauns and do all that, but we do wear green. And I will usually do green eyeshadow. So I wanted something that could be Paddy's Day. Or it could be springy, you know what I mean? Um, Yeah, that was the kind of vibes with this palette. I definitely wanted green and orange in it. The white is, reflects green, so I wouldn't really say it's like a green, white and orange palette. I was thinking about doing that. I was thinking about going all out. But I decided not to. I decided to kind of go a more subdued version of that and still keep those colours, but just a little bit more like if you use them together it won't be as obvious so yeah i wanted to go for more emerald tones with the green because i have had green in my last one which was more of like a chartreuse green so i wanted more of the emerald kind of shades on this side especially considering i live on the emerald isle you know what i mean um i got emerald on now i got some of the emerald shades on now i definitely have to have multi-chromes duo chromes and all that jazz in here as well and then i wanted khaki i wanted neutral green as well something that you could like bring it down a notch if you want to but still have that green element so the khakis are kind of there and then the pops of orange I was gonna go like full-on neon orange but now I went a bit softer a little bit more easy going is the way I would say this is like your easy breezy patty stay palette so let me go through kind of like the textures and all that in the palette and then we'll go through where each shade is from what brands and all that and the names but let me pop up some swatches now as I'm talking so we've got one two three four technically mattes because my big inglot shade the khaki down here is a sequin shade it does have gold sparkles in it but the sparkles don't really last so i technically call that a matte we have got one just like satin shimmer we have got one two three duochromes really two duochromes and then definitely one multi-chrome in the middle there it kind of goes from like emerald to purple to teal to blue it's beautiful so first up in our palette here we have got conjure up this is from color pop and it's a matte emerald green it's beautiful if i want to use it more again again this is why i wanted these videos to come about because i want to use my single shades as well next up from makeup geek we've got ritzy which is like this brown base with this gold green shimmer it's like a warm base with a gold green shimmer which i think will pair gorgeous with those orange shades as well then from terra moons we've got snow glow which is like a white sparkle i have on my inner corner here white sparkly shimmer with a green reflect to it as well then back to makeup geek we've got dragonfly which is like a lighter version of that deeper teal but great blending shade here again i have those two matte greens on my eyes right now then in the middle here we've got our gorgeous cleona multi-chrome this is oculus and as i said goes from like a green teal purple all that jazz all together then over here we have got Colourpop's koi which is like a matte soft orange like not pumpkin orange not neon orange not like juicy orange it's more like a softer more muted orange but not a pastel either really um i just think it's gonna be so nice in this then back to terra moons we've got radiation here which is like a gorgeous grassy green with like this lime kind of shift to it and a teal shift in different lights as well so so beautiful and in the middle here on the bottom row we've got inglots 56 which like i said is like a matte khaki dirty green but has like a gold like sparkle in it because it's sequin shade it'll just go to the matte really you might get the odd sparkle that'll stay around but not really that you'd really notice it and then lastly here we've got Glaminatrix this is cotton candy which again is kind of like the equivalent to that matte soft more subdued orange but has like a gold shimmer in it as well just before we get in to the actual tutorial my instagram is linked down below i post all my up close eye pictures and full face pictures of all of my looks and my tiktok is down there as well if you want to see a little bit of extra content all right all the excitement let us get in to look number one okay so let's get in to our first look using the lovely if i do say so myself merch palette oh she's so pretty like i just wanted kind of variations of green that wasn't lime because i done that in my last video and i will come up more throughout the year because it is my favorite shade but i wanted a, em like emerald greens more vibrant greens khakis as well that will lean a bit neutral and a pop of orange and this is like a white to green duochrome it's kind of a patrick's day palette but like not as obvious if that makes sense and um, that's the kind of vibe i wanted in this gorgeous multi-chrome is what we're going to use today 
in this first look and I cannot wait because I've been dying to use that colour. So it's going to be more so a green look with a slight pop of orange and then we'll do a little bit more of an orangey khaki kind of look in our second look. But my skin is on, my brows are on, my eyeshadow primer is on, which will all be listed down below. And my cheeks are pretty much done apart from my cheek highlight, which I will go through towards the end of the video as well. And yes, my eyebrows are very dark because I my roots are growing in a good bit. I need to get my hair done again. But um, I use one of my MAC brow pens and it's a little bit darker. But once the eyes are done, you'll see it all come together. Okay, so to start, I'm going to take this shade here, this kind of teal green sort of shade. It's called Dragonfly. It's from Makeup Geek. And I'm taking that on a big fluffy, giant fluffy <laughs> um, brush from V Cosmetics. There's no name on it or anything like that. Just picking that up on that brush. And this is going to go into the crease as our blending shade. So the main point of this is just to get that edge blown out. So when we put the green, the darker kind of more emerald green in the crease, it'll have something to blend into. So I'm not too worried about intensifying this too much in the actual crease. I'm more so just getting a blend started with this because it's just a bit of a softer green than the other one I'm going to use. Okay, so now I have that blended out, blown out into the crease a little bit. I'm going to take Conjure Up, which is from Colourpop here. Just a deeper, same kind of tone, emeraldy teal sort of shade. And I'm taking that on a Blend Bunny B1 brush, so the kind of bigger, longer, fluffier brush. And we're going to focus this on the outer corner through the crease as well, but mostly the outer corner. And it is a good bit deeper as you can see. When I was making this palette I was kind of worried that these two shades might be a little bit similar so I started adding in like a lime green like this like what I'm wearing now but I was like no because I've done like that chartreuse green in my last palette and I'll probably do it more. I know I definitely wanted a lime green in my June palette because that's my birthday month and that's my favourite colour so that palette is going to be like my palette. My perfect palette for my birthday. Ooh. That's very nice, very nice. Okay, so now I'm just going to work on my lower lash line and we're going to work backwards. We're going to go in first with Conjure Up, the deeper green. And this is a BH Cosmetics Rose Gold number 10 brush. So just a small little pencil brush. We're going to work this about two thirds of the way across because I want to add a little pop of orange on the lower lash, just the lower lash. I want that multi chrome to be all over the lid, but I'm going to add the pop of orange on the lower lash line. When I was like thinking about this series, I mean, loads of people have done this series I did not come up with this as an idea but when I was thinking about me doing it I was thinking about all the palettes that I'm like so excited like there's some months that I'm kind of just like mm, I'll kind of just see what the vibe is then there's some months that I'm like mm, I'm very excited to see what I can come up with using that so one is like April I cannot wait for the next for next month's one I was very excited about this because it's kind of green as well and I love all my palettes so far but April I'm kind of excited I do have an idea of the kind of colours that I want in it. Not the exact shades and how they're going to fit in, but I know the colour scheme I kind of want to go for. And then I'm obviously very excited about my one for June to see what I'm going to pop into. I'll probably do like limey green in a shimmer form and probably a matte form as well. I want to keep it at nine. I want them all to be nine pans just because it's easier. Um, and it's easier for me to use all the shades in the palette if I do nine because that's the goal I don't want to do a palette and then not use all the shades because I'm like then why would I even put them in I made it <laughs> now going back in with Dragonfly from Makeup Geek and this is a Beauty Bay it's called Hey Shorty this brush is like a, a fluffy flat brush and I'm just going to smudge out this deep green down here it's just so the blend matches the top as well but yeah I'm very excited about my birthday month um I'll probably do something deep and grun grungy with pops of like color and um, that's the vibe I love my makeup to be um what else am I very excited for oh my autumn themed palette I will be doing a September specific palette which will be autumn themed and then the spooky season palette because yes even though I'm doing my spooky season videos which will be a lot of like get ready with me's maybe some costume makeup if you're interested let me know down below and yes, I know it's March and I'm talking about Halloween, but you know, got a plan. And I will still be doing my monthly palette for that as well. And I want these palettes, like I want it to be classic Halloween, let's say. I want these palettes for you to look at them and kind of have an idea what month it probably is. If there's something going on in that month, like Halloween, like Christmas, like all those kind of ones. And just see if you would, to just look at the palette, would you know why or what month? That palette is for. Okay so now time for some shimmers. We're going to use our NYX glitter primer. Pop in a little bit on the back of my hand just so I have a bit of control over it. I cannot tell you how excited I am to use this multi-chrome. I'm so excited. Now in certain lights it might not look as green. It is very emerald in certain lights but it's also purple and blue in other lights. So I think it'd be fun to kind of have that 
emerald flash to match but then the other colors will kind of contrast with it a little bit so this is just a flat brush that i got off ebay there's no name on it and i'm just popping a little bit of that glitter primer all across that lid there all the way down best thing to do with multicrums is to put it over a large space so i try not to fit like try to fit too many multicrums beside each other because they all shift and then it just looks a bit you don't know what you're looking at the simplest way to do it is to have a large area so you like your lid or like if I do a big wing one of those I'll do a multi-chrome on that as well because it's a big space and then I can fit more multi-chromes on that as well and then just whatever's left on the brush I'm just going to pop a little bit of that glitter primer it's on these inner corners so a little bit of tackiness for the orange shimmer that I want to pop in there okay so now we're going to take oculus I see they're super super green but then like when it hits turns out the light kind of goes purpley like when I'm looking at it now I can see a lot of purple but I just think it's going to be so nice I'm going to take Oculus, this is from Cleona Cosmetics. And this is going to go all over that glitter primer on the lid. Cool. What colour is it for you guys? Is it more green blue? Because for me it's more purple teal. I've seen it there for me when I'm sitting here. Super green. And then I move forward and turn. Purple. Oh, I love it. It's like peacock feathers. That's what it really reminds me of. And I think that's so beautiful. Okay, so now I'm just taking a little bit more of Conjure Up, that darker green, and on that same little blend bunny brush and I just want to tapple that green all around the shimmer just kind of soften that edge I don't mind the shimmer going up a little bit into the crease as well just to give us that nice soft blend you'll notice that in all my palettes so far I've had at least one Cleona or one Terramoons if not both in every single palette because that's why I bought them is to do these sort of videos to build your own palettes I want to use them and I have a shade for every occasion in both brands so I want to pair them where I see fit because I have, I have more ideas for build your own palettes I have another series in mind but again it's kind of a monthly thing so that might be next year okay and then lastly we're going to take this orange gold shimmer down here this is cotton candy from Glaminatrix and this brush is actually from the Friday the 13th collection um, there's no name on it, it's from the one with Glam Light, it's just a small little flat brush, little detailer. And this shimmer is just going to be popped that inner corner, not the inner corner, inner lower lash. It's funny, like a lot of people ask me like, oh where do you wear these looks out to? Um, right now it's like almost 10 o'clock and I'm going to, to reorganise my kitchen. I'm taking everything out, everything's coming out. Anything that's out of date, in the bin. Anything needs cleaned, cleaned, reorganised and that's that's my evening it's going to take me hours but gotta be done okay and last little step for this I'm going to take snow globe from Terra Moons this like white kind of teal green shift and taking that same brush I just used for that orange but I just wiped it off a good bit and this is going to be our inner corner highlight I'm also while I film this back into watching my horror movies not that I ever stopped really but I, I have phases where I'm like, oh, I want to watch all the horror movies now. Then I kind of don't watch any for a little while. And then I'm like, oh, I want to watch all the horror movies now. Um, So the other day I watched My Best Friend's Exorcism, which I wouldn't really say was a horror movie. It had horror elements to it. But it wasn't really a horror movie. It was um more horror comedy-esque. Like a fun kind of horror movie. And I watched it because I've read the book. And I'm back into my reading. That was the third book that I read was My Best Friend's Exorcism and that was so fun. I, I definitely, I know a lot of people say this about a lot of media, I did prefer the book in regards to the movie. I felt the movie was a little bit too fast paced, like it was kind of just jumping, 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 jumping. Didn't really get a lot of like in depth with the characters but I knew what the characters were like so like I had that but if you didn't it was just a bit, whoa, you know. Um, today I was going to watch the remake of Hellraiser or the most latest Hellraiser movie but I couldn't get it to work so I didn't watch that I am currently right now watching Pearl which is just psychotic and it's amazing so far I love it um, and just before that I watched Smile which was a, it was fun it was a fun fun time okay that's a lot of inner corner <laughs> but I want to I want to show off all these shades that I'm using so that is it very simple I have some kind of emerald rhinestones I might add to the look as well yeah Ooh, I like it I'm really liking that lid shade it's so pretty so I'm gonna jump off I'm gonna finish off the eyes finish my face pop a pair of lashes on do a lip 
I don't know what kind of lip I'm even going to go with this because there's just so many colours happening all at once. And then when I come back and choose my lip, I will let you know what I use. Alrighty guys, so this is the look all done. I'm so happy with how this turned out. And I added a couple of different rhinestones just to jazz it up a little bit more. So let me go through everything that I used on my face. So to finish off the eyes, I went in with my Odin's Eye Sol Mon gel liner in 14 which is colorful black which is basically just a charcoal shimmery gray kind of color and um, i just popped that on my waterline because i didn't know i was going to do emerald but i've done that in one of my recent green looks and then i was thinking about doing orange as well but i wanted to feel a bit deeper because the lid is dark as well so i went in with this because it'll kind of feel out both kind of colors as well my mascara then is my silk and glory thick and fast mascara and then my lashes are the house of lashes which ones are these these are the opulent noir lashes so they're super winged out very flared on so they are very wide i did have to cut them and my eyes are quite wide naturally normally i don't usually have to cut my lashes these i had to take a bit off the end and a tiny bit off the inside which i don't normally do but i actually felt like it fit my eye better if i took a tiny bit off the inside and then my gems are the ones from sheen that i've been using a lot and um, these are just the kind of green ones kind of like an emerald green and then these are champagne just because i thought the champagne would go nice with the orange as well and i just done clusters little clusters of green and the champagne in different sizes as well for my cheeks then i went in with my made by mitchell blush bronzer in hello there which i've just been using non-stop recently it's like one of my favorite things ever especially now that i've pulled the stopper out um i'll show you it's messy like she's not pretty but i'm getting all the, i'm getting all the product out of this even though i've already got it back up but i want to make sure i get all my product out so if you feel like it's hard to get it out pull your stopper out you just i just got a little spatula underneath and just kept pulling away and it eventually came out quite easy and then another blush from made by mitchell this is melon sorbet which kind of has that orange tint to a tangerine kind of shade so I just pop that on my cheeks for a little bit of extra color and then for highlight i want something that kind of reflects both green and orange just to kind of jazz up with the eyes so i went in with my kaleidos cosmetic space age prophecy highlighter in well it is prophecy yes prophecy is the shade um it's a space age highlighter is the product but it reflects like copper orange and then in some nights it's like a lime green so I just thought that would go really well with the eyes and then for lips super simple nice nude glossy lip with a peachy undertone to tie in again with those orange tones so I went in with my MAC lip liner in spice just for that warm neutral kind of shade and then I just put a gloss on top this is Pranson and Dancel Pranson and Dancin Dazzle Glass from MAC which again kind of is that peachy shimmer gloss but any kind of gloss clear gloss will do as well because the color is mostly from the pencil anyway okay that is it that is our first look with our march build your own palette very exciting i'm definitely going to get into you would think i'm going to do the, the two oranges together but i'm not i'm going to do the orange with the khakis i think that would be quite nice i might do a very blown out sort of shape and a little bit softer but yeah i'm definitely thinking the khakis with a pop of this green on the lower lash so i might do like a green lower lash with the khakis and orange on top that's what kind of feeling that was the kind of plan making this palette as well so without further ado let me get in to look number two again this rhymed i keep doing this it rhymed okay on to look number two we're going to be getting into these khaki shades here and a little pop of orange i think and maybe another little pop of green i might blend with the matte orange i've already used this orange here and then used khakis new pop of green on the lower lash line with our gorgeous inner corner as well my skin is on my brows are on my eyeshadow primer is on which will all be listed down below and i've got my cheeks almost done apart from my face highlight which i'll go through towards the end so we're going to start here with number 56 from inglot this one down here which is a sequin shade like i said before but the sparkles are just kind of dust away so i'm just going to use this in my crease and i'm taking this on a mac 221s just like a skinny fluffy brush and i want this shape to be kind of winged out like blown out here with the orange as well and i just think the khaki and the orange are going to go really nice together even though there is red in orange and green and red don't necessarily mix together it's more of a yellow dirty green and then the orange is a little bit softer so i just think it will still blend quite nice so this is just going to go in the outer corner and then just so whatever's left on the brush i'm just going to start pulling outwards just to start that shape and then we can blend more with the orange just before i start blending that out i'm going to take that same shade on a lavender Lux from bh cosmetics number 10 brush just a small little 
pencil brush and I'm going to run a little bit of that green as well on my lower lash line just connecting the outer corner kind of like the first look I'm just going to go about two thirds of the way across okay so now that I have my shape going so obviously this is not the complete look because the harsh lines are still there we're going to blend with Koi from Colourpop this soft muted orange and I'm taking this on a big fluffy brush this is a 6SS from Inglot and we're just going to start fluffing that all around the edge of that green so I just want to do a little like peekaboo of the orange around the green and just go back and forth between the two shades if you blend away too much or anything like that off the green add a little bit more and then go back in with the orange but I'm just going to slowly start to pull the orange out with that green a little bit past my eyebrow that's the way I like the shape to be on my eyes okay so nice and blown out with that little orange haze around the edges. I'm not using the orange on the lower lash line. I'm just going to leave that as green because I'm going to use that other more grassy green on the inner corner as a pop. And I don't want there to be too much orange contrast down there. Okay, so now for some shimmers, we're going to go in with our NYX glitter primer like always. And I'm just taking this on a MAC 239 from MAC, obviously, like I said. And picking up a little bit of that and that's just going to go on the lid for that deep khaki shimmer as well. And then taking a little bit of that and just tap it in here for that bright green shimmer. Okay, so now I'm going to take the shade Ritzy, which is like a, a satin metallic, but it has a duochrome to it. So it's like a warm kind of brown base, like a rusty base and then a khaki green shimmer through it. So I'm just picking that up with, it's not going to be the most sparkly sparkly, it's more going to be like a satin sort of finish. Picking some of that up on the same brush I used for the glitter primer and I'm going to press this all over that glitter primer oh that's like a really smooth shimmer because it is more of a satin finish it does take a little bit more building to what like i'm used to as far as shimmers goes but it's still beautiful oh that's actually gorgeous see i need to use these colors more this just proves it more to me okay so now i'm going to take radiation from terra moons and we're just going to pick up a little bit of this this is a mac 231 brush just a small I think it's a lip brush but I like it for my eyes and this is just gonna be like a flash of bright bright green it's just like a little neon light on my lower lash line I love how that looks so I'm gonna jump off I might do a wing liner because I have a wingy shape and I'm gonna finish off the eyes do my cheek highlight and my lip and ooh, maybe a hazel oh maybe we'll do a khaki lip that might be nice so i'm gonna jump off do all that and then i'll let you know what i use when i come back okay this is the finished look i am obsessed i love this lip it's my first time using it and i'll tell you what it is in a second i'm very excited about it so to finish off the eyes i went in with a winged liner i used my mac brush stroke liner in brush black and just did a nice decent wing i mean probably a very big wing for a lot of people for me it's a regular to big kind of wing and just to kind of emphasize that shape that we have going on there. On my waterline, I use my NYX Epic Wear Liner Stick in All Time Olive, just on my waterline, just to tie in with that olive -y sort of shade down there. Then my mascara is the Soap and Glory Thick and Fast Mascara on my top and my bottom lashes. And then for my false lashes, I use my MAC false lashes. These are 76. Super, I like have two in one pack. Super wispy, like soft as well, but long, if that makes sense. So they're long and soft wispy. So they add a really nice texture to the eye as well. For bronzer, again, I use my Made by Mitchell Blush Bronzer in Hollow. There, I just, I really want to use this up but also I've been loving using it so I just keep using it. Then for my blush I also went in with that kind of orange tone to tie in with the eyes. This is the MAC Mineralized Blush in Like Me Love Me. Just like a nice soft peachy orange blush. And then for highlight I went in with my Blend Bunny Noctilucent Highlighter Palette and I went in with Transient. This middle one here it kind of reflects a green and gold. So again, I thought that'd be nice with the khaki sort of tones to tie in with that little pop of neon green down the bottom. And then for my lip, once the eyes were done, I wasn't sure really what lip I was going to do, but once the eyes were done, I was like, yeah, I love how khaki this is and that little pop of green. So I had to use something that I only got over Black Friday and I'm so happy I get to use it now. This is the Black Moon Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in Hazel. The khaki hazel green and I just love it. I love it so much. I love the texture of these. The, this and I think my MAC liquid lipsticks are my favourite texture. This is just it. These are my favourite textures, the liquid lipstick. Okay, that's it. That is our March palette, our March build your own palette. I am obsessed with this palette. I think it's so fun. A nice 
green palette, orange palette, but also can be worn softer. Like I would consider this more of a neutral-ish green if you wanted to step into greens a little bit too, something like this. You don't have to go as heavy or dramatic or put the pop of green on the lower lash or anything like that. But the khaki is a great way of getting into colour, into greens, all that kind of stuff without it being too in your face. And I just love it. And that lid shade is so beautiful as well. So I want to know down in the comments below which of my two looks in this video is your favourite. I don't know. I, when I had this image in my head, I thought the other look was going to be more my vibe because of the multi-chrome, because of how dramatic it was and all that kind of stuff. But when I'm looking at this, I think this is my favourite look. I think I think the lip really completes. I love that little flash of green on the lower lash line. Yeah, I think this is my favourite look. So you let me know yours down below. If you did like this video, give me a big thumbs up down below. It's the quickest, simplest and easiest way to give me a little bit of support to get me around to more people. And also let me know that you like the video and I will continue to do many more. And don't forget to subscribe down below to see many more videos coming up. We have got more build your own palettes coming up every month. We have also got more two looks on palettes, first impressions. The declutter series will be back eventually once I get my setup again to film it and yeah more chatty videos and things like that and as I said in the beginning my Instagram is linked down below where I post all my up close eye pictures and full face pictures of all of my looks and my backlog is being done as we speak and my TikTok is down there as well if you want a little bit of extra content so that is it for our March build your own palette I will see you in the next video bye